This paper circuit activity will show you how to make a light up card. Here's what you'll need. One circuit printout, a few markers to decorate your card, 12 inches of 0.5 copper tape strips, one five millimeter light diode, a coin battery, some clear tape, and lastly, a pencil. Let's get started. First, you're gonna wanna fold your card. Now, decorate your card in your own style. Open up your card and find the X. This is where you're gonna be putting your LED light. Take your pencil and poke a hole through the X. Next, you're gonna be placing your copper tape. This can be a little tricky. Be very gentle with your tape and place them on the pathways. Now for your coin battery. Find the side of the battery with the plus sign on it. That is called the positive side. Place the battery in its spot on the card with the positive side facing up. Next, tape the sides of your battery. Be sure to leave the middle part of your battery exposed. Now for your light. Turn your LED light upside down. Notice one of the two prongs is shorter. The shorter prong needs to be pointed towards the battery in order for your circuit to work. Push your light through the hole that you made earlier. Bend down the prongs over the copper tape. Again, remember to bend the shorter prong so that it points towards the battery. Now tape down the prongs of your light. Ready to see your circuit work? Turn your card over. Make sure the light is pointing up and press down. You just made an electric circuit. Now that you have completed your circuit, let's take a closer look at how it works. Electricity flows in one direction and needs to have a complete circle in order to work. When the card is laying flat, the circuit is open because there is no uninterrupted path for energy to flow. Electricity flows from the negative pole of the battery to your LED light to the positive pole of the battery, completing your circuit. This is called a closed circuit. As long as your materials make contact, your circuit will work. Copper isn't the only thing that conducts electricity. For example, you can make a paper circuit out of aluminum foil as well. Electric circuits are everywhere. The walls in your room have copper wires that work just like your paper circuit. Electric light switches start and stop their own circuits the same way. And not just light switches, but lamps and flashlights work the same way. What are some other things that you can think of that use an electric circuit?